I had a session yesterday with a client that made me want to share a message that isn't being shared right now and it's a very important one. In the movement, fitness, strength world, there are a ton of systems of thinking. There are a ton of models, of frameworks for how we can educate, um, put ourselves in a program or a mode of being. All of these systems and models are going to ask you to do certain things. They're going to say, do this exercise, do this program, do this routine, and here are the reasons why you should do it. Many of these systems, models, and ways of thinking have come to these uh, asks of what we want you to do with your body for very positive reasons. We want to give you some kind of strength benefit that you might not be getting outside in your life, or they notice that there is a movement deficiency that's going on, or something around those lines. So when you're coming to the movement fitness world, and you're looking to alleviate pain, or to overcome some kind of deficiency within your own physical body, it's a really good idea to dive into, into some different systems that you think have some good answers for you. What, what, what I do really want to talk about though today is that none of those systems and none of those models will ever, ever give you the full and complete 100% answers that you are looking for. They can only give you a framework, a compass direction, and a way of thinking that can ultimately lead you to find the answers for yourself. It would be such a good thing if like, oh, I've got back pain or I've got this tightness that's coming up and I can just do, oh, I just do X, Y, and Z and boom, it's done, it's resolved, it's finished. But a lot of times it is not that simple and it's not that straightforward. Even though many of our bodies can be, and our, our pains, our movement deficiencies can be solved with very general patterns, it's good to understand the patterns, but then we have to apply those patterns to our bodies specifically. And then we have to learn how we learn and give ourselves time to embody these different understandings or ways that we need to change ourselves. That is very general and esoteric talk, I know, but the, the session that I had with the client went like this. Hey, I've been going to this movement system. I've been going here, I've been going there, and I've tried all this, I've tried all that, and nothing seems to be working. As we go uh, through our, our time, I'm asking him to do certain movements. I'm seeing him get visibly irritated, physically agitated, as I'm asking him to do certain things. And as soon as he gets agitated and physically irritated, he will then go into a position that he knows is good and comfortable for himself, that makes him feel safe, that makes him feel relaxed, etc. So we start having this conversation of like, what are those positions, what are those things that you do for your own body that make it feel really good? And lo and behold, he's got three or four things that he does that he knows that if he does these things, he can get himself out of a bad spot, like back tightness, migraine headaches, um, pinching in the front of the hips. So it's like, wow, we already have three or four things um, that are helping us a lot. Why don't we double down on those things? that you know you were already getting a clear sign from your body that these are the things that are making me feel really good and able to go about my life why don't we double down on those things it's almost a too simple of an idea to do the things that make us feel good rather than to do the things that we are supposed to do or the things that are right the things that a movement system or a guru or some educated leader tells us these are the correct things that we should be doing 
and therefore these are the things that, that um, should be done. That is kind of how we've been raised. We go to school and there's a teacher that tells us what the right answers are. And we, we have a, a boss who tells us the right ways. There are so many instances, even um, having government officials to tell us laws where the, the right and wrong are already established. However, when we're a, applying that principle to our physical bodies, especially our movement and the state of everything, it could be a endless wormhole that doesn't lead to any real changes or understandings. All of us at when we were born until one to two taught ourselves how to roll, how to be. Just like this pup up here didn't need someone to tell her how to be a dog. She simply had it inside of her body. We have so many of these instinctual, innate ways of understanding how to move, heal our body. And um, that's not really talked about too much. Instead, what is talked about is, oh, this new movement system is the new revolutionary thing we should go do. Oh, you should go see a physio. Oh, you should go see a chiro. All of these people and movement systems can benefit you. There's 100%. But at the end of the day, I think it would all benefit us if we came into those spaces, if we communicated with those professionals and said, how can you help me understand my body more instead of, I want you to fix my body. I'm holding my espresso away because you just shed a bunch of hair. And I do not want that in my espresso. How can you help me understand my body more instead of hey can you fix me or can you give me the exact things that I need to do to make myself feel better if we go into those systems if we go into those communications with those professionals looking for guidance but not answers I think at the at the end we're gonna be better off and to sum this all up it definitely comes down to taking deep ownership of our bodies and saying how my body is feeling right now is because of the choices that I am making throughout my day. The times when I'm choosing to sit on a couch rather than to be on the floor, uh, the times when I am all from your resting to your fitness behaviors, to your stress levels, to your diet, to your hydration, we all know how uh, integrative all of this stuff is and we should start to really take ownership of this uh, of our bodies instead of looking to somebody else to uh, give us what we can already give ourselves and that is the golden nugget is that anything that you need for your body right now to deal with some pain to learn how to move in a certain way because um, certain movements hurt you or you just don't have certain performance values, you can give yourself that exact thing that you need right now. If you uh, slow down the front of your brain, the rational thinking, the X, Y, Z, I have to do this to make this happen and said, how do I go about this and engage, re-engage with the learning process, the communication with your nervous system and uh, you'll come to some really deep conclusions on that, okay? So a coach is a guide, a professional is someone who can help you, but ultimately we are in charge and we need to take ownership of our body. Have a fantastic day, thanks for tuning in.